Hello class, Professor Perkins here again. And we have one more objective to cover in section 3.2, and that is what do you do when you need to construct a truth table for a compound statement that involves three simple statements? So you can see on the screen that we are gonna construct a truth table for the statement that is P and Q. So remember the caret means the conjunction and. And then outside of the parentheses, we've got or another statement, the negation of R. So you can see that we have three simple statements. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. So keep that in mind as you're constructing the truth table now. Instead of needing two columns, we are going to need three columns for simple statements. So I am going to draw a line. I prefer the alternative method uh, as the book labels it, where I do a separate column for each statement that I am doing my truth table for. So I feel like that helps me keep things straight better. So here's my P and my Q and my R, and I'm just going to draw a nice little table. We got columns. I'm still getting used to drawing on this screen, so I'm sorry that my lines are not totally uh, straight. Now, the first thing I gotta let you know is we're, instead of having four rows or four combinations of trues and falses like we do when we just have two statements, now that we have three, we are going to need eight rows because there are eight separate combinations. So the easiest way that I can give you to, to remember how to construct this truth table is the following. I would recommend that for the P column, you do, the, do this, you put four trues, and then you're going to put four falses. And I'm gonna extend my line a little bit. For the statement Q, instead of going four and four, you're gonna go two and two. So two trues, two falses. Two trues, two falses. And last but not least, for the statement R, we are gonna go every other. So notice the pattern that we have here. We did four and then four, we did two and then two, and then we did every other, and that gives us eight different combinations. Now, I am going to tackle this problem just as if it was an order of operations problem in arithmetic, and what I am going to do first is I am going to do my parentheses. So I am going to do P and Q as my, as my first thing. So here we go. I'm going to do a separate column. Again, just to repeat, I prefer using the, the, what the book calls the alternative method. And so P and Q is the conjunction. Remember that the conjunction is true uh, when both statements are true. So I'm looking at column for P and I'm looking at the column for Q. Okay, so here we go. So true and true is gonna give me a true. True and true is gonna give me a true. And now we hit the next one. True and false is going to be false. True and false is going to be false. Uh, false and true is going to be false. Remember the conjunction needs both of them to be true in order to be true. And these last two statements have both false. So there is my P and Q column. So next, what I need is I need to take care of statement negate R, and so I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And so I'm gonna do a column for squiggly R, the negation of R. And the negation is my favorite one to do a column for because you're just switching the truth value. So my, my column R notice, Column R goes true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So negation R is gonna go false, true, false, true, false, true, and one more pair, false, true. And so the very last thing that I am going to do now is I'm going to take these two columns that I have formed. I've got my P and Q, that's from my parentheses. I've got my squiggly R, and what I'm going to do last is I am going to connect them with the disjunction, the OR statement. And so I'm going to do that right now, and 
Just making sure my pen is the right thickness. And so here we go. I'm going to do a last column. Oops. I would rather do it in black ink. So last column for P and Q, and then or squiggly R. And so here we go. Remember the disjunction, the or statement, is true when either one of the statements is true. So going down, I've got true or false, that's going to be true. I've got true or true, that's going to be true. I've got false or false, that's going to be false. False or true, true. False or false, false. False or true is true. False or false again is false. And last but not least, false or true, that is going to be true. And so there you see that my last column is my answer column. And so I'm going to circle it for you so you can see it. And that is how you do a truth table when there are three statements. Good luck on your homework. Let me know if you need any help.